Next, I have mascaras. And I think I might have talked about these before. I'm not sure. The first I'll start with, um, my mom gave me this one. It's by Rimmel. It's by Rimmel, and it's a lash accelerator. And it's supposed to lengthen your lashes, kind of like a Latisse. Um, I, I think I've definitely talked about this before. It's got a little brush and then like a mascara wand. Anyway, I don't know if this works because it burns the poo out of my eyes. And I don't have very sensitive skin. Maybe I have sensitive eyes, but nothing's really bothered them before. And this burns so badly. So definitely say skip on that. And I don't know if it lengthens your lashes. Next is another Ulta product. And I know I've talked about this before. It's the Ulta Lash Extensions Lengthening Mascara. And this is the worst mascara of all time. Look at this wand. It's like just, I don't know. It's like there's no bristles. It's just nothing. It's like that's what it does to your eyes. It makes a big mess. I mean, there's no anything. There's some like little ribs in there, but there's no bristles. And you just put it on and it is like taking that and rubbing it all over your face. So if you like to take mascara and rub it all over your face, then I would definitely suggest going and getting that today. Because that is the look you will get. Okay, next, um, this is CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. And I bought this in a two-pack thinking I was going to love it. And anyway, I just don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. Now, my mom, on the other hand, I gave her the other one. She has kind of very small lashes and smaller than mine. And she really likes this. She has a lot of control with it. So, to each their own. But to me, this is just... It doesn't last, it flakes off, and I just I just find there's not a lot of product. I don't know, you would think the brush, I would like that brush. I might have to try it on my bottom lashes because a lot of times I use something different on my bottom than on my top, and so I might try it on my bottom, but don't like it on my top. It does nothing for me in the lengthening department. Okay, so that is my mascaras. Next, I have lip products. I'm gonna try not to make this too long. You're right. Um, these are by Wet n Wild, and I've had these a while, and one of my favorite gurus on here I've watched, and she loves these, so I've got them back out thinking, well, if she likes them, maybe I'm missing something, and I still hate them. So, I have three of them. They're like 99 cents. So, Wet n Wild, Color, um, you know, these don't have colors, I don't think. 903C, 900B, and 901B. So, it's like a pink a peach and a coral. Um, my problem with these, they would probably stay all day long because they're like paste. I'm, I'll put one of them on my arm. That's kind of what you get. When you put it on, the color payoffs are really great, but it's literally, it's just pasty. Like I put it on my lip, hold on, let's put one on. Which I got lip product on now. I don't know. It's weird. Does that look weird? It feels weird. It feels like paste. I don't know. I don't like the way they feel and I don't like the way they look. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me because she does really like them and then she'll put a gloss on them. I've tried doing that. I just not into it. So, you like that I'm applying? This is my dupe for cream cup, Max Cream Cup Airy Fairy and I'm really liking that. But anyway, um, so the Wet n Wild, it feels like paste. If you like paste, then, let me put that one, more paste. I mean, they look like they have great color, but it's like, I don't know. I don't like it. They're just so pasty. I was trying to come up with a word, and that's the best word I could come up with. Okay, next is by NYX, and it's um, Lip Smacking Fun Colors in the color Harmonica. That's a weird name. It's a very blue pink, and it's very pretty. Like, I like the way it looks in the tube, and I don't even know how... Okay, here we go. But when you put it on, it's kind of, like, almost frosty. It almost has, like, a frosty cotton candy white to it. It's very strange when the white hits it. Like, it's really pretty here in the tube, but then when you put it on, to me, it has sometimes, like, there it is, how the light's hitting it. It can look white on your mouth, and it makes your teeth look weird, and the whole white factor of it, it's just weird. So, 
anyway okay next is l'oreal a crayon okay sorry my memory card fit filled up so I've lost my positioning if my angle changed um anyway I got this L'Oreal crayon pencil lipstick pencil and I it's the name tender kisses I think I got it from the dollar store and I should have known that the dollar store selling L'Oreal something had to be up but again it's one that you have to sharpen I'm not a fan of that because I don't always have a sharpener handy and once it goes down you've got to have a sharpener but it's just it's an okay color there's not much to it and it needs to be sharpened so it's not and it's showing up way more on here than it is in person like you can barely see it on my hand but it smells like a number two pencil and so I just think that is a weird scent to be putting on my lips like it's like it smells like a lead pencil so I've tried it like once didn't like that um and I mean if you get makeup at the dollar store I'm not saying that's awful I just I should have known I've never seen L'Oreal at the dollar store and that was like the only thing they had and it, it didn't go right somewhere along the way for it to end up there just saying okay next and this is my last lip product oh and it's a wet and wild I'm seeing a little theme here um, it is called Perfect Pair Lip Wand Crayon. It has a lip liner on one end and a lipstick on the other end. And I like the concept of this because I like to use a liner. Um, and it's a pretty color. It's just kind of a natural, rosy um, color. Let's see if it says a color. I'm not seeing a color. Wet n Wild doesn't always label their colors. 121. Um, the lip liner is very sheer and can you see it it's right there the one in between the liner and that paste I mean lipstick <laughs> but um it's just when you're lining your lips you need some kind of coverage and here I'll color it in and it just really it's not a good liner and it just it's not a good liner so here's the lipstick and again it does really nothing it's just really nothing to it so that's the, I mean I like the idea of this a lot but it just has no color payoff from either end so you know that's it it's not an awful product just no color payoff maybe if you get a different color it might would work better all right so next on to hair products I've mentioned this before my mom gave it to me it's um John Frieda the sheer blonde full-blown blonde thickens and lifts brightens the blondes anyway you're supposed to spray it in your um, roots and it gives you some full-blown blonde it's volumizing spray it's supposed to give you some volume at your roots and all it did um, for my roots was made it very very crunchy it was almost like remember like back in the day you had spritz and you the spritz and you wanted the cr crunchy wet look well that's exactly what it did it gave me the crunchy wet look on my roots when my hair was dry so fail and I like John Frieda a lot so I don't know if I got a bad batch I don't even know how old this stuff is so she gave it to me but I don't like it um, next is a dry shampoo by Tresemme Fresh Start and I know a lot of people use this um, I don't like this because it is just so powdery it really just gives your hair that full-on powder look at the roots and my suave does that to a degree but it it brushes out this I just seem to not be able to brush this out I mean I just have to brush a brush a brush and then it still has a gray look so not a big fan of this I know a lot of people like it so you know check it out for yourself but not a fan of that hands down the suave professionals dry shampoo is my favorite okay last thing and then I'm gonna hush hush ah, I'm getting wet is a shampoo I think I've hauled this shampoo and conditioner it's from the yes to brand and I got it at Target and I bought it these are normally like nine bucks each and they were on sale for like three bucks each so I wanted to just check it out um, first thing I should have known I'm not a big fan of cucumber scented things so this is definitely cucumber scented but that's my own fault because you know if you like cucumber scented things you'd like the smell of this but this is an or, um, an organic shampoo it's paraben free 99.8% natural product for color treated hair to me it just didn't I didn't I haven't really given it a chance and you can see that it didn't lather up and I like a shampoo that lathers up and maybe that's the unhealthy part of it I'm not sure 
but I just wasn't too impressed. The conditioner, I like to use them together, so if I wasn't impressed with this, I'm not going to really use this much. I still keep it in my shower on days that I'm not going to be blow drying my hair and I'm just putting it up. I will still use this, but I'm just not a big fan of it. I like it to lather up and have a good lather when I'm doing my shampoo. So, eh, you know. It's to each their own on that one too. So anyway, I hope I did not bore you to death and you definitely see I have like Wet n Wild and some Ulta brands are not my favorites. I didn't realize I had so many Ulta brands that I didn't like. But anyway, and Elf too. But it's all hit or misses a lot. So definitely watch videos like this and you'll know kind of people's different opinions and you can learn their skin types and know if it would work on yours and that kind of thing. So it can be helpful to watch these. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope I didn't talk your ears off. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the bar below. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And I guess I will talk to you later. Bye.